Hello, all Wiki Treers. How is everybody doing? It is our normal uh, Wednesday live cast where we talk about the Wiki Tree Challenge. Um, so today we have we're we're missing Rob should be here shortly, but to kind of introduce who we have here right now, so there is Aowen and I who are Wiki Tree team members. Uh, and then we have Mert over there in the corner, who uh, that we're wrapping up her week this week. And then we have Sarah down here, who's the captain for Mert's week. And we have Joan, who is the captain for the co-captain for Rob's week. And then we have Mindy, who is the overall coordinator of the Wiki Tree Challenge. So that's who everybody's here in Rob. Like I said, we'll pop in. Uh, we'll be doing him at the last 30 minutes, so he'll be here at some point. But for those of you who have probably never, maybe have never watched this before or new to WikiTree or the WikiTree Challenge, you're probably wondering what we are doing. What is this? What is this thing called WikiTree? Well, <laughs> Eowyn has this will gladly tell us all what Wikitree is. I will gladly. Nothing would make <laughs> me happier than to tell people right now what Wikitree is. <laughs> so it's a community of genealogists who are working together to build one single family tree. Unlike a lot of other genealogy sites where you build your tree and I build my tree, and we never ever talk to each other despite sharing several deep ancestors, on Wikitree, when we get to a common ancestor, we get to work together to find information, share sources, resolve discrepancies, add photos, write bios, and do all sorts of really cool and fun things. In other words, we collaborate to grow an accurate single family tree that connects all of us. And the best part is it's 100% free. Yay. All of it, all the time. No, no trickery, it's always free. That's why we don't have holiday specials, because it's always free. <laughs> it's special all the time. It's special all the time. We're always special. Yeah. <laughs> so now that you all guys know what Wikitree is, the Wikitree Challenge is a special event that we are having. It's our year-long our year long event, which each week we take on a team of Wikitreeers takes on a genealogy guest star and takes their tree and makes it more accurate and complete than it is anywhere else. For this, for instance, this week, we've been working on Mert's week and today we're gonna to be presenting to her and all of you what we have found. And so that's really exciting. <sighs> and then also coming up is Rob's week, which we're starting. And this challenge is part of our year of accuracy where our goal is to improve our accuracy on Wikitree make more connections and make friends. And I believe we're doing a great job so far. Absolutely. So that is WikiTree and the WikiTree challenge. So there, then now, you know. Just, now you know, it's WikiTree. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a few ways that, that we're coordinating and talking with these new friends. We have a um, spreadsheet where we're marking what profile we're working on that way if you have 40 50 genealogists working on this you know you're not tripping over the same profile and, and doubling research on the right there you see the g2g post for Mertz week we go ahead and we post bounty points in there which you'll find out more about um, interesting discoveries if somebody has a question we post those things in the in the g2g so can I ask a question already? Certainly. What is G2G? That is our genealogist to genealogist okay. forum. That's what I thought it was, yeah, but I wasn't sure. And then thirdly, we have Discord, and that gets pretty busy because that's our real-time chat. So in there, we can say, "Hey, I need somebody else to take a look at this document. Does it do? You know, does it prove what I think it does? Or you know, I found a ton of sources for this profile. Does anybody want to write a biography? We need some narrative on here. We do all kinds of things. Sometimes we just cheer each other on, and you know, the the, the talk is fun. It it, it kind of keep helps keep you motivated. Mm-hmm. Cool. Real quick, I just want to point out that Bob Dole is here. Hi, Bob. Good day. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So we've been obviously working on Mertz Week this week. So we have our top our top people. And these these are our very top producers for the week. We have different ways we can earn, they can earn points. Now they get the bounty points if they actually break a brick wall down. So that's 10 points for every new direct ancestor they find. They get one point automatically for any new ancestors added in the nuclear family, which gives you a more complete picture of the family. So you have the children, the siblings, um, those points are counted automatically by the system. Our top five this week were Maddie Hardman, Joan Whitaker, Hillary Gadsby, Dieter Lorenz and Cheryl Hess. <laughs> Woo! Bravo. And they did really good. It was a slow start this week and um, things picked up more at the end, but you know, there was a, a really good foundation laid this time um, by Mert. So they had their work cut out for them. I'm just looking at the overall stats. Overall stats, and this is where you can see how crazy good they did. Now, total points, and these are the includes the bounty points and the regular points. Total points right now are four hundred and five points. It's actually have, twenty-five now. Ooh, let me refresh. <laughs> <laughs> People they are were, still working they were busy on it. Four twenty-five. <laughs> so we, that means they've added sixty-five direct ancestors. Oh my gosh. Right, 160 nuclear relatives. Um, for all of the people participating, there is a total. And this number, I have to tell you, Mert, what people, this number has been going up like literally minutes before the live cast. Um, wow. They're at 200 points now. Oh. And for profiles edited, now these are unique profiles edited during the week span, 1,034. Oh. profiles edited and then for total edit so every time somebody makes a contribution they go out they add a source they put something out they add an image they do something to a profile three thousand eight hundred and seventy four oh. in a week's oh. time I mean it's is that amazing the power of wiki tree and the the community working together oh. for, for a common goal it's just incredible to wow. watch yeah. and Mindy what are how do people get bounty points what are bounty points did we? We did. We did that. They got the bounty yeah. points for those, for those brick walls that went down, and also anything that was corrected, right? If well, not not mistake. anything, but if a parent were corrected, and mm -hmm. that may not have been on your tree, that may have been on our branches. Um, you know, if oh, yeah, we had it wrong mine's on always, ours, mine's it, always yours, perfect. It was perfect, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> now, they didn't get things for, say, a correction to a birthday. Um, uh -huh. They got a lot of cheers from, you know, us, um, cheering each other on for finding things like that to fix, um, finding records that possibly you hadn't found or that the person that worked on the wiki tree branches to begin with hadn't found. Um, things like that. They just got the satisfaction of increasing that accuracy. Thank you, Maddie, Joan, Hillary, Dieter, and Cheryl, and everybody else on that yes. list. And Joan, Joan is in here. Good job, Joan. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joan. <laughs> oh. Good job, everyone. <sighs> oh, I oh, can't even this, imagine. So this was our starting, well, not really our starting point, but, you know, we were working with the great-grandparents, so the, your eight surnames that we were starting from. Mm-hmm. And then we have, we can start with Alma Player. Yes. Who, who is a guy, even though it sounds yes. like a girl's name in the it 21st does. century. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Sarah, you want to tell us all about that? Other Sarah, Captain Sarah. Yes. <laughs> Sarah Mason, not Sarah me. <laughs> I'm trying to, okay, I'm trying to figure out where I'm at on the outline here can you hear me fine yes yes so we first okay. so we did break down the three three branches of the orange so got some new parents there yes. whoa we'll start with yes. william player and jane lamb is that how you pronounce it lamb yes wow yep those were both new parents added for charles player Wow. And there were actually six people added on the Alma line um, that were direct ancestors. 
They're just not all showing on the same screen. Yeah. But you had Anne Featherby Sowersby. She gained a mother, and that was Elizabeth II, which kind of opened up those lines. Oh, okay. You had Thomas Sowersby and Mary Cox Sowersby as new parents for John Sowersby. He was born and died in Lincolnshire. Lincolnshire, sorry. He actually gained six new direct ancestors, so beyond him. Yeah, so you'll get to surf around and and see what you can find on those. I need Kleenex. (laughs) This is pretty amazing. It is such a pleasure for us to be able to do this Mm -hmm. for you. We, we spend a lot of time helping other people do their research and understand methodologies and documentation and everything, and we don't get to work on our own that much. So this is pretty cool. Oh. Okay, Sarah Mason, go ahead. <laughs> Was there anything else on this? Uh, oh, then we had Elizabeth to Featherby. Yep. We had the, the mom. Was there anything yeah. on Alma's side, Sarah, that... Anything that stood out or we did find a lot of new ancestors. Yes. Um, we did have some uh, interesting find. I'm sorry. I lost track of my connection to the spreadsheet that I had on or the, not the spreadsheet, but the space page I was going to look at when I was going to look at it from my phone and I lost track of it. I'm sorry, it, guys. It happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, so we bet. Then we also had a Henry, oh yeah, the oats. Yeah, we got, we found, this one had a lot of new ancestors added. So, not, we didn't, weren't able to break down for every line, but we did do, like this one had a lot of new. Oh my gosh. Yep. Worcester. Yeah. Hatch and. I've never Freeman. heard of that. I've never heard of that name. And But I'm very interested in the Hatch because my sister's first husband's mother's name was hatch and eventually we all dovetail Mm -hmm. back there in england but now that's the first uh, i've heard of hatch in my line wow is that this is that another freer like from uh (laughs) yeah (laughs) (laughs) who was it who had a lot of freers in their line i don't know two guests two guests ago i think (laughs) oh okay (laughs) it was a thomas i think it was thomas yeah (laughs) thomas mckinty did oh okay and i did find I did find what the interesting find in um, that line was uh, Charles Warner Player is was uh, part of the Mormon Exodus. Yep. He. Um, I'm, yes, I'm aware of that because we are still Mormon to this day. Our part of the family. Um, yes, he helped build two. LDS temples over 27 years. First, the historical Nauvoo Temple in Iowa, and second, the LDS Temple in Salt Lake City, Utah. And his, father, his father was the principal stone setter at Nauvoo, the original. Oh, nice. The one that they burned. I mean, they didn't burn them. The mobs did. Yeah. Um, but I, it looks like June, my friend June, is saying that we could be connected on the hatches and the Wooster. This is just like incredible. Okay, we gave you some more work to do, Mark. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> so Cliff is a new name, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the Odes line. Oh yeah, I've never worked up the Odes line because mm-hmm. um, the lady, there was another family member who since passed away, a cousin of my dad who worked that line. And new records are, well, new old records are available. Wow. And it was great that, you know, on that particular line, it was taken back to um, mid-17th century or before. I, I, you know, I, so it's it's just incredible that you can still find records and things back in the, you know, 1640s or 50s. Boy, that is incredible. Mm-hmm. So I have people in, still in uh, Yorkshire, not, but they were married in Hatfield. Okay. You had several of them that were born and died in Hatfield. So yeah. that was kind of yeah. interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, Hillary know. did a lot of work in this area. Who did? Hillary did. 
you oh, know, yes. I know Hillary was quite active in, in these profiles. Thank you, Hillary. And thank you probably for the Buckinghamshire people that I didn't mm -hmm. know. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So we have a better father's name. Yeah, Robert West. Oh, okay. Looks like Maddie was working on this one, right, Sarah? That's what it looks mm -hmm. like from the profile. Wow. So, so Cliff, Eliza Cliff must have been her first marriage or something. If the West was her former name before that, her maiden name, daughter of Robert West. Mm -hmm. That's always yeah, she, a tricky thing with women, isn't it? Yep. That yeah, we don't, so yeah, she married Johannes, Johannes Cliff. Yeah, and that's why we thought, she, yeah, it gets very confusing. Mm-hmm. But that's good that you clarify that. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, I think that was the one line I think we had the most brick walls broken. The other ones we had a few here and there. Okay, there's um, cousin oh, Alice now. She's that. related to the West in the Look same area, I guess. Wow. I was thinking Hillary was doing work in the Hatfield Yorkshire stuff. I might have been mistaken on that one. Well, she is pretty good. Um, yeah, Hella says, get busy. <laughs> get busy, Mert. <laughs> so Terlinden. That's a different name. That isn't oh. particularly English, is it? No, that's that's one that Dieter found, I believe. Oh, yeah. Dur yeah, look. Look at because Will Hemis Brockerman. Um, yeah. We got the Terlinden line farther back. Dieter, yeah. thank you, Dieter. Yeah. Yeah, he was busy on that, that section. Oh, well, look who just popped in. Hello, Rob. Hi, Rob. Hi, Rob. <laughs> Hi, Rob. Oh, I am so embarrassed. I'm so sorry for being late. <laughs> you are going what? to love, you're going to love it when it's your week coming up. I mean, I just, I am just blown away by what they've shown me so far. I don't know how to pronounce Ginderich Moors. Uh. Uh, we had. I don't either. Okay. <laughs> we just need make a it, Mark. <laughs> and if you go all the way back to Bernardo Turlinden, he had at least eight children. And once again, that comes back into, you know, our researchers taking the time to look at the entire family and see just every record we could possibly find. Wow. Oh. So uh, look at all the Brockerman. Um, all the kids of Wilhelmus Brockerman as yeah. well. That was very fleshed out. This, yeah. these wow. lines. So I knew about Brockerman marrying into the Wright W R I G H T family in Pennsylvania. So I just didn't know over the pond like this. So this is just incredible. It's always nice when we have our over the seas Dieter and uh, who, who worked on this. This is just, thank you, Dieter. This is just mm -hmm. incredible work. You're gonna have to tell me how to pronounce these locations. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we can get him to tell you how to pronounce them. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. Charles Weiser. Yep, the ne'er-do-well who ran away with the circus a couple of times in the marriage <laughs> to his wonderful wife. <laughs> He's my great grandfather. Mm -hmm. uh, he's Father Myrtle, as in Dear Myrtle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh and his my. his mother Dolly was your closest. I think she was your closest brick wall, wasn't she? Yeah, she she totally ruins it when I do a fan chart. Well, you you don't have to feel bad about that anymore because that's yeah. been being worked on and expanded right up until broadcast time for this live cast. So wow. um, that's another one that, that Dieter's been contributing to. And he was finding stuff going, wait a minute, before you get the slides done, I found <laughs> another person. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Yeah, we have the, found the father. Did we find anybody else right before the live cast or just George? We did find... I had them written down. Um, Dieter found a couple last minute, again. Um, it was on the... <sighs> was it Yaki or was it to find the wife? It was farther, it was farther back. It, um, 
see if I can bring my outline up again. George um, is one of six that I had thought could possibly be the father of Dolly. But the, those early census wow. only have tick marks for the ages. And um, I never went farther than that. Yeah. But at least I'd eliminate all the other people named Yaki that were head of household <laughs> in those earlier pre-1850 census. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. And then we got, um, we got the Lauk? Lauk? Yes, that's what. Okay. And then the last in minute stuff. Her, yeah. oh. Becker. So Anna Becker. We found her parents. So if they're there in 1710, and they're German, and they're in Ulster, I'm wondering if they're Palatines. I don't know. We'll find out. Mm -hmm. Could be. That, uh, yeah, I, I want to pull some books. <laughs> <laughs> Mark's like, just let me go research now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Peter was working on this one, too. So Thank you. Yeah, it does, yeah, it does say... They were a Palatine migrant there. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So they'll be on the Semendinger list, I'm sure, Dieter. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure there's more info in the bio um, with the, the sources and all that. Yeah. With what he found. Okay. Okay. Cool. Like Thank you. So then the Yaki. And oh, then... Cousin Russ. I don't know if he's, I don't think he's out there. He knows how hard I've worked on this. Philip Weiser served in the French and Indian War. Wow. Yeah, and we have a whole bunch of other of your military ancestors coming up too, but this one you wanted to share. No, oh, Russ is here. Oh, Russ, you're here? Russ, I'm crying. You know that. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, no sleep for me tonight. It's going to be up all night searching. The yeah. hardest part is going to be picking which new branch you want to look at, Mert. It's going to be hard. I can tell. Now, this one intrigues me because William Henry Phillips is a very common name in the area. Um, and so I would be really curious to find out about um, the potential new parents there. Yeah, so and they're marked. They're marked uncertain, so it's a, there was a lot of chatter in the Discord, right, Sarah? They were going on about this, um, these parents. That and the G2G thread that you'll be able to see. There's some I lively can see discussion. That part. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very intrigued with that. Um, and sometimes he was called William Henry A. Phillips, but his <laughs> wife made a distinction in his. Um, pension file right um, oh. that he was known as William Henry Phillips in business but that he sometimes went with the initial a which we have absolutely no idea what that means maybe it could be an indicator of the mother's maiden name who knows could be I know a, or That's... just a wild card I know just wanted <laughs> to distinguish himself so he picked a letter like Harry S for nothing Truman <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> yeah, this is, um, yeah, wow. Okay. And Martha from Virginia. Yeah. That's a logical um, migration. Okay. Then That's we have cool. all of your military service ancestors. <laughs> um, Higgins, I, uh, Tolbert Higgins, I know of. Aaron, I do not. No, William Gist Froman, and I'm the only one who calls him Gist Froman because my great grandmother told my mother on the telephone in 1951 that his middle name was Gist for his mother, maiden name. I wondered about Admiral Terry's relationship. Wow. And William Gist was interesting, I thought, because he fought against cousins. Oh, he, definitely. He was a loyalist, and he fought against, and Nathaniel and Richard were brothers. Yeah. Both of them died in the same battle, the Battle of King's Mountain, 
And then when that happened, right around that same time, William fled back to England and he stayed there until the revolution was over. So, <laughs> oh you know, my gosh. all types of personalities. Yeah, I knew about uh, Major Joseph Gist. I think he was the one that was probably at um, Valley Forge. Cousin Russ and I saw where that was. Mm -hmm. um, wow. And then I, I noticed that we have Colonel jo Johannes Haidt, who was also in the French and Indian War. Do you uh -huh. think that they, those two people who were in the French and Indian War, like kind of knew each other? Or maybe they, the other the other one who was on the... <laughs> I honestly don't know about that. I do know that um, uh, Conrad uh, Weiser was a colonel during the French and Indian War. And he had a high profile because he interfaced so much with the um, Pennsylvania government, the colonial government. Um, and so I don't know. I got a lot to learn. Mm -hmm. well, wow. I know we also fixed um, a lot of, well, we, they were brick walls Yay. that were broken. We also wrote a lot of biographies, fixed a lot of mistakes, errors, and just sourced a lot of profiles. Um, was there anything that you wanted? Oh, we have, we have the, the brick wall chart showing all of the brick okay. walls broken. But Borland, Richard Gist that you're talking about, um, he helped, he was a surveyor that helped, helped to lay out the city of Baltimore. If you and I own even a square inch of Calvert Street and the wharf, we'd be multi-gazillionaires. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> they only now, uh, Christopher Giss and his wife Edith Cromwell only had one child, Richard Giss. So um, cool. All right. So this is my um, and this is mostly up to date. Once again, people were adding right up to the last minute. We had several people going. Can't we just have another week with her branches, please, Mindy? Give us another. And I'm like, no, we can't do that. Sorry. But this has most of them. So everywhere you see those red bees, those dots, yes. those are brick walls that are broken down. And, and so you can kind of see it definitely a lot of them were clustered over on the paternal side. But there were those yeah. two, uh, you know, hanging in there over on the right. So that's incredible. Now, my dad did most of the research on his side. And I did most of the research on my mother's side. But I had different resources than my dad had. He had to do the old IGI work, you know, second, um, third oh, hand yes. information. Yeah. And uh, wow, that's pretty amazing. Now, the yellow spots mean what? Available have... brick walls. Okay. So, you know, a lot of this, it's typed on there. Um, once again, our base, where we start working out from, is improving wiki tree from your great-grandparents. But we also do look at your comparison tree, where you keep your primary tree. So all of those type names were names that you already had on your branches. Yeah. So the yellow spaces are where each one dead-ended on your primary tree, and those were places we focused on to break brick walls down. Wow. Wow. And the bees so just, were the brick walls we broke, right? Yep. Mindy? Yep. So just astonishing. Brick walls down. Wow. So how many brick walls did we break in total for Mert? Six, oh. six, 20? 20? 20. 20. I can't even believe that. That's just <laughs> awesome. <laughs> uh, that's, yeah, what have I been doing? I, I just <laughs> said to Catherine last week, what have you been doing sitting on your dock? <laughs> But, you know, not only do, I mean, you said it, you said it well, we never work on our own trees. We just don't. I, I don't know when the last time was I worked on my own, you know, so not only do we have each other to kind of keep, keep us going and, and keep us motivated, you know, but we all have different skill sets. So we have everything from family historians to professional genealogists, you know, and we have the locations covered. This is a global site. So, mm -hmm. you know, if we need to find out what a German location is, then we can holler at Dieter or Frank or Jelena. Mm -hmm. You know, we have our people we know we can go to and we'll get an answer back right away. Mm -hmm. It makes a lot of wow. difference. That's, Collaborative that's, genealogy. We you know, can you imagine collaborating, cooperating, helping each other? What a thought. Wow. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, I'm just blown away. 
thank you, thank you. I can't say thank you enough. And and uh, when we get done with this on Wacky Wednesday, we're definitely going to go in there and look at my tree. That's what we'll do tonight. Yeah, I want to go see some of those sources because this is just amazing mm -hmm. stuff, astonishing nice. stuff. Yeah, we don't have enough time. We don't have enough time in the half an hour to show everything of everything. So we I focus get that. on the brick walls, but yeah. I get it. Thank you. Thank awesome. you for cleaning up things for me, too, because mm -hmm. I recognize I was one of those early adopters with the JEDCOM, and so the biography part looked pretty messy. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is just a amazing work and I appreciate it so much. Well, thank oh, you for cool. letting us work on your tree, Mert. Yes. It was such an honor for it to let us. I'm sure everybody loved just diving in and doing that. Did, <laughs> did we yeah. have any questions in the chat while we were going on the or Not really. Any, any they just love they they love Mert and they love collaboration and they love wiki tree, <laughs> so that about sums it up. <laughs> That's a good way to put it all. Mm -hmm. Yes. A bit of this. I can't my fingers don't go that way anymore. We can <laughs> just <laughs> It's all good. So that Yes, the categories. <laughs> mm -hmm. So unless Sarah, you have anything to add or Mert, you have any additional comments or questions for us about anything, we'll probably go into Rob, start Rob's. Week. Go take it away, Rob. So Rob, Hi. Rob, I we'll guess we'll go to hit Rob. <laughs> who is Rob? Who am I? Hey, one, who is Rob? <laughs> Let me tell you. I'm gonna tell you all everything you ever needed to know about Rob Worthen. I'm gonna tell you right now, in two minutes. Um, so Rob has been working with DNA and genealogy tools since 2011. He is a co-founder of DNA Adoptions. If you're not familiar with them, their mission is to teach and guide people who are searching for their biological roots uh, to use DNA in combination with um, you know, traditional genealogy techniques. And then they also have specialized adoption search techniques that they teach there. So they have classes, um, so you can learn how to use those together and, and search out for your biological families, which is awesome. I'm adopted, so I love it. Um, he's the creator and founder of DNA Jedcom. Uh, that goal with that is to reduce the human involvement in extracting measuring the data to provide software for solutions for DNA matching from results and to determine relationships from that data and from family trees um, for additional metrics and comparisons that aren't available to the user right now. He's hey, John, a, I like that description. We should. <laughs> I borrowed it, actually. I'll give credit here. It's pretty much word for word from the DNA GenCom website. Oh, I, I that. We're, we're looking on the, trying, to, trying to say, what, who are we? <laughs> well, and there you go. The, he's the designer of the site, right? Yeah. <laughs> Just, uh, there you I, go. I, I've forgotten what's on that site. I have to go on that site, so. Um, he's also an adoptee and brick wall advocate, so he should love this challenge. Uh, he's part of the Mito Y DNA team. Um, and he's a Facebook admin for many groups that are related to DNA. So if you're on Facebook and you're into DNA, you've probably seen him out there more than once. And that's Rob. That's Rob. Hi. Do you have anything you want to add, Rob? Or did we pretty much cover everything there is to know about? Uh, I, I think you pretty much hit it. Um, I, I really, um, <laughs> I, got, I got involved in this because of um, my wife who was adopted. Um, so that's how I got started with this at all. And um, I do, you'll see that my, my family tree is kind of one-sided. Um, my dad's um, um, uh, sister-in-law was a, um, was a, um, a, a uh, worked at a library. And so she was able to actually build out the trees and she actually was able to get books and stuff like that. So that's how that half of the tree kind of got built out a little bit more on my dad's dad's side. Most of the rest of the sites uh, have been kind of played with and stuff like that. So I, I'm embarrassed uh, at uh, how simplistic it is and how uh, how, how very little um, sources we have. As you say, let the sources decide. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm anxious to see what you all come up with. 
Yeah, so yeah, we will definitely add many, many sources to your tree. <laughs> so I, I guess maybe you answered the question, but getting your, what got you interested in genetic genealogy? Was it through your wife and her being adopted? So, so it was it was literally through my my wife. Um, my my wife's mom, her adopted mom, but her mom asked me one time, um, "Hey, could you help her find? You know, computers. Can you help her find her biological mother?" And I'm like, "What does that have to do with with that?" Um, but he, lo and behold, she actually knew more than I did. <laughs> Evidently, has a lot to do with that. So yeah, that's exactly how I got into this. That and my um, uh, my aunt, who's a librarian, got me loving and enjoying. She actually had this little briefcase with all bunch of different uh, printouts and stuff like that, showing everything about genealogy. So that's how those two things kind of got me heavily involved. Now, who is your favorite ancestor that you found so far? Um, my favorite actually is uh, Peter Funk, and that's because he's the he's the most interesting one. Um, we didn't know him at one point, and um, he was the one, um, we found a marriage record at Adams County and that broke, broke through a, one, one breakthrough and we found that he, there was a Peter and a Sarah. What well, just so happened, my brother just had twins and he had them and already named them. It was named Peter and Sarah. No way. Wow. That's nope. so wow. cool. What a coincidence. And we found, found them <laughs> after that fact. So plus That's the fact that Peter is my, um, is my br biggest brick wall. The, the bad part about that one was my mom always thought she was pure German. We found out that Sarah was actually colonial American. And oh. so my mom was actually kind of <laughs> upset with me for that at one point, because um, we used to say she is purebred um, German. My dad was purebred Mutt. So that that t-shirt, the Wicked Tree t-shirt about Mutt's is uh, perfect. Peter and Sarah. Yep. <laughs> Oh, Prussia, maybe we can get our experts. Oh, on, Dieter on. was looking for Prussian ones. Oh, there you go, Dieter. If you're watching this, we got so, it. So this <laughs> this one is, is really interesting because if you look at his death certificate, he died, in, he was born, according to his death certificate, in January 1st, 1840. But if you look at earlier censuses, um, it's around 1845, and one of the censuses actually says December of 1844. So. This guy is pure, um, I, I don't want to say pure evil, but it, it's like he's, uh, he, he, he hit. How did he get here and how did he, how did he go through all these things? And um, the most interesting thing is my mom remembers, and, and, and for a lot of the women, it's like you probably know, my mom remembers asking her grandfather, who would have been his son, how did, how did your dad get here? And his, her grandfather, his, her grandfather said, he just got here. That's all you need to know. And of course, being, being a, a good little girl, she just shut up and didn't say anything more. And um, today's actually my mom's birthday. So it was, it was very fitting that today was the day that we started all this up. So I'm, I'm very excited. Happy birthday right. to your mom. I remember you said Happy that birthday. when you were talking to Yep. So do you have, you kind of told us a few interesting stories, but do you have any other interesting stories to share about your family or any of your ancestors? So the other interesting one is, um, so we we're, I, my last name's Warthen. And if you kind of go back up through the trees, you see there's a Wathen. Um, I do actually have a DNA match for a jo um, yeah, uh, Joseph Wathen that is Wathen, W-A-T-H-E-N. And the rumors are that, um, the Warthens split from the Wathens based on religion. One group was Protestant and one group was Catholic and they kind of split and they changed their names um, because of that. So I do know Char George Warthen, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty clear with him. The steps beyond that kind of get a little more um, wishy-washy. It doesn't seem like there's any locations on some of these, so got some. Yeah, they end up in Frederick, um, Frederick, Maryland yeah. kind of things. I did. I did get excited at one point. I thought thought I found where John Francis Wathen had been Wathen Wathen had been buried, um, and it was actually a the, the name of that uh, cemetery was literally right beside where I worked. So I literally spent a day looking for it, 
but evidently they they moved the cemetery at one point so i never did find his uh where he was actually burnt buried well, I'm sure and then of course since it's since it is irish um i do have an o'toole and um <laughs> yes. that one's actually very fun because um it's a richard o'toole he passed away um in a boating accident and there's actually a poem about him in a boating accident and it sounds like it was outside of dublin in dublin ireland um but we believe he li lived in wiki in uh, wicklow county wicklow um and i've i've been to the place and the frustrating part is i have a um distant cousin who supposedly has the paperwork on where he was born but i don't know i can't get that um information he won't give me <laughs> that piece oh, of no. paper <laughs> give him um, the paper <laughs> and how I'll, fitting I'll, it I'll is. I have to reach out to him again. And it is St. Patrick's Day. Yes. So I, I, I had to bring up the Irish. And, <laughs> <laughs> and then, Rob, when did you when did you first discover WikiTree? Um, I can't remember who it was that uh, introduced me, but it was a long time ago. It was back when you could actually upload jet jetcoms, <laughs> and I uploaded mine, and it became a mess. I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know I know people have been cleaning it up, and, and, and I did the same thing. Like that. Yep. So I've been doing a lot, a lot of that. So it was a long, long time ago. It was, it was before DNA stuff even came out. I think um, I, I can't remember when it was, but it was so long ago that I, can't, I don't even remember. I just remember uh, talking to Chris and Mags at one point and saying. Oh yeah, I think I might have an account out there and went out there and there it was. <laughs> there it was. <laughs> so what are your biggest or your current brick walls besides the ones that you've already kind of told us about the funk and uh, the I think Peter and Richard are really the, the, the two biggest ones. Um the my mom's side, because they're so they're they're relatively recent German are brick walls, but I don't know how those those are like they literally came from Germany. Um, so how they could be um, figured out, I'm not really sure. So Dieter, you're at that like Mueller, <laughs> Stuart, Huffen, Huffenagel, those areas. And then what do you hope to see in participating in this challenge? What do you want to get out of it the most? Uh, honestly, I, I want to be less embarrassed about the uh, sources that I have. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and making sure that they're, they're, they're clean and, and well sourced. Um, at one point, I threw, I literally threw my tree away and started rebuilding it with only with sources. And then it got to the point where it's like, oh, I can't find that. I can't find it. But I know that's the person. <laughs> so I put, a, put some more things back in there and stuff. So um, I built this tree probably three or four times. And it, it, it's always hard to wait for that source and getting that exact source material and stuff like that. So that's that's kind of the exciting thing is 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 not to feel like a cheating genealogist anymore <laughs> you know you're not the only one we've invited that has said that <laughs> there's been there's been i was actually surprised at how many have said like i my tree's mess it's horrible i'm embarrassed <laughs> so it's not just you yeah mm -hmm. yeah we have i mean that's that's the whole point of the challenge is to improve the tree and people who may have not heard of WikiTree who have kind of dabbled in it to kind of get them interested and to, you know, like for you, Rob, you kind of were in, and Mert, we're kind of in at the beginning of WikiTree or early on, and now we're working on your tree some more and getting you more connected. Yep. That's the whole, the whole goal, connecting and making friends. Absolutely. <laughs> mm -hmm. I definitely have, and from the ashamed genealogist point of view as well, Rob, <laughs> because, you know, we just don't get time. We're working still. So, yeah, there was a point where I knew my wife Sue's a tree so well. And, and I knew all of her relatives and, 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 and distant relatives because I built that tree up so many different ways and up yeah. and down and all over. I, I just knew it like the back of my hand. And she used to say, Hey Rob, how about blah blah blah? And I finally got to the point where it's like I started concentrating a little bit more on my own and forgot some of her things. And she's like, "Hold a minute, but you're supposed to know all these things." <laughs> we and can only pic juggle. Even like pictures. I I, I think uh, somebody asked for pictures, and I'm like, I don't even think I have any pictures. But I, I found a whole bunch of pictures on Sue's side, <laughs> and I built her <laughs> trees. So that's you, you're building all these other trees, and and you think about those things, but you don't think about it on your own. Mm -hmm. It's true. Yep. So 
Do we have any questions for Rob that are in the chat? Or Joan, do you have any questions for Rob about anything? Or Rob, do you have any questions for us? Any questions in general? Sarah, do you have any questions for Sarah? Mindy, do you have any questions for Mert? <laughs> hey, we we have covered any it all now. I question myself all the time. <laughs> Not I have a question yet. about my new Instant Pot. Does that qualify? <laughs> Those are exciting. <laughs> yeah, I have a question uh, about when, when will my um, ACL and my limb finally heal? I'm sure I will have before the week. So <laughs> as we start looking at things, I'm sure lots of the questions I'll be emailing. And I'm sure we our, our captains are allowed to contact you, Rob, with any Absolutely. questions yep. throughout the week. Yep, so my um, my rob.worthen at dnhjet.com.com is probably the better one because I watched that one. Um, yeah. That's not the one on my on my account, but I'll try and make sure I pay attention to, the, to both of them um, so that I... Okay. And then we do have somebody, one of our team members, um, Emma Macbeth, she's been doing the DNA confirmations. So if you would like those on your profiles, which is really nice to have, you can work with Joan and she can get, get y'all hooked up there. Yeah, I think I, yeah, I entered the email. Yeah, already reached to the DNA. Good. Good. Yeah, that's another one of those that, uh, embarrassingly, I do have my mom at least DNA connected, so. There you go. <laughs> there you it's go. It's a start. It's a start. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I got my dad's brothers on there, so I, I just have to figure out how do you, you tie that through, but. I know people are talking about cats in the chat right now. Cats and Instant Pots. Yep. And air fryers. <laughs> air Although fryers. Meg said, what is your toughest tree questions to answer? But I'm not entirely sure what she's going for there. And Sarah, one of you. Which wants, Sarah? We both wants, have cats. <laughs> well, both of you share the name of your cats then. Go ahead. Mine is Kiki. <laughs> the first one who was on here is Scootaloo. And <laughs> Nugget just cruised through <laughs> The other Sarah has two cats, and I have one cat. <laughs> yeah, next week, I'll bring up my dogs. So that all right. We, we, like have, we have four of them, so. Oh, bring oh them boy. <laughs> Are they all big dogs or small dogs? Three big big ones, a uh, Ger um, German Shepherd, an English Mastiff, uh, oh my uh, Bernese Mountain Poodle, and then a Chihuahua. That's so funny. <laughs> so from this to that. Yep. <laughs> Do they all get along well? Generally, yep. That's good. That's good. So, do we have any other questions for anybody ever about WikiTree? Anybody has a questions for somebody else, or I think or we if not, we'll there. probably. They're they're on to other things. <laughs> yeah, they're talking about pie now in the chat. We're not even going to talk. We're not even going to discuss that. Because that always gets brought up. Pie in the spring cleanathon. Oh yeah. Yep. That Spring cleanathons coming up next we'll be month. We'll cleaning even more of the tree during the spring cleanathon. So that'll be fun. So I want to thank everybody for joining us. Mert and Rob, thank you so much. We Mert, we had such a great time working on your tree. And thank Rob, I'm so sure much. everybody's they're already they were chatting <laughs> earlier in the week about your tree. So they're already on it. They're probably oh, yeah. already working. They probably already it probably already have a brick wall broken, I'm sure. I don't doubt it. <laughs> I, I, I'll be amazed if they do, because I've been push. I've been, I have been hitting some of these brick walls, so it'll be it'll be interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh, they've been on fire today, so. Yeah. Eowyn, can you yes, share yeah. the link to Wacky Wednesday? So if anybody uh, wants to come look at my tree with me, I can't post because I'm not a manager on your so, YouTube channel. So YouTube doesn't let us post links at all. Oh. Yeah, no. Facebook we can, but yeah, YouTube doesn't like links. All right, so and we can, post it, and we can post it in the forum. Yeah, Hang we on. can. Yeah, we Hold can on. have the link there. But Wacky Wednesday with Mert in ten minutes. Wait, yeah, it's right here. There she goes. There it is. So if, write that down real quick. Write it down really fast. W N <laughs> underscore underscore well, C one. You can I also five. find it on the Jenny webinars calendar mm -hmm. and in the Dear Myrtle group. And yeah, pause the video when it's done and it's right there. True. For you. Yeah, because she's the uh, manager of the YouTube channel, she was able to post it and it came through clickable. Yeah, copy clickable? and paste. Two of my besties. <laughs> yep. 
Thank you so much. Yeah. Because it's going to be fun to go look. I'll probably cry. Oh, dear. Oh. Get Kleenex. Yeah. I don't know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you again so much. It's just yes. an incredible time. Rob, I'm so looking forward to hearing about the breakthroughs for you this coming week. I can't wait. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And thank you for everybody who's watching. Thank you for all of our wonderful wiki treeers who have participated or just are watching. You know, thank you to everybody. Just thank you. And it, you can check us out at wikitree.com and check out Mert on Wacky Wednesday in about 10 minutes. So, okay. and that is all. And that's a wrap. Don't forget to check us out on Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, Daylight Savings Time, because now it's Daylight Savings Time. I was so. Bye, Drew. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye.